if you go to an airport, you have to get on these. It's like the coolest thing in the world. Anyway, we are at Portland Airport. We're headed to Wisconsin right now. Never been there in my life. We are going to Wisconsin for turkeys. Here's the little montage that we're gonna show. And then the next thing you'll know is uh, we're in Wisconsin. So play the montage. Turns out, Trent's kind of scared of flying. <laughs> I don't see where we're, there's a good chance we'll never. Milwaukee, Miami, Memphis, Madison, no. It's Madison, isn't it? Denver, Denver to Madison. <laughs> Hope you like Denver. <laughs> oh God. It's snowing outside right now. Oh, I'm in shorts. You are in shorts, this should go well. <laughs> yeah, I can see us really setting up shop here. What do we do now? So we just checked I with customer service. Door is closed. Flight is gone. And if you see, they say, oh no, just go wait in that line over there for customer service. That's the start of it. And it goes somewhere back to Oregon. I don't even know. Now we stand and wait, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, Hushin, I don't think we're gonna do dinner tonight. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna make the dinner date. <sighs> I really wish Trent would have seen uh, Die Hard 2 number now, because this is exactly how Die Hard 2 starts. Oh. And if we are in Die Hard 2, it's going to be a really long night. Turns out we're not. B-22. I'm running. I'm going to hold the flight. B-22. <laughs> Made it. We made it. I have no idea how, but we made it. <laughs> We're making We're it. Going for it. They've been sitting here for. I think they've been sitting here for two hours. Yeah. Two hours. This is video log number 42, day number seven, being on the plane. We are out of water and we are out of just offered us pretzels. Water. Stephanie, what do you have to say for our channel? Well, I'm feeling that uh, there's a little form of dehydration setting in and everybody uh, I think that Wes used the last bit of toilet paper when he let a big banana rip in the bathroom so I love it oh wow I love it everyone met Stephanie already Trent Do you need a job Stephanie <laughs> no so for real we made it onto the plane the folks on the plane have been sitting here for at least an hour hour and a half before we even got to the plane yeah. and we have now been sitting on the plane change. for Two at least 35 45 minutes safe to say we're about to have a plane full of people you Mutiny. we're Mutiny. about to come together as a group and start singing songs like happened. we're on glee that's, never that's what that's what's gonna happen i'm telling you that happened. next clip that's what you're gonna see video log number 942 day number 17. there's been a mutiny I tried to start a karaoke, a Never unified worked. karaoke song. I chose the wrong song. I chose My Humps by the Black Eyed Peas. I thought everybody would know it. <laughs> actually, that's one thing I would let you stand up and actually do. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Let's see. We gotta take her. We gotta take her. <laughs> Coast Guard has arrived finally. <laughs> We've gotten Biscoff. We've gotten Biscoff. So we're good for a little bit longer now. Oh man. The unfortunate part is uh, this flight has been canceled. They're moving us to another flight to uh, take it out this evening. And uh, I wish I had a reasonable explanation for this, but it is what it is. Uh, so this flight's canceled. Uh, the gate agents will be sending out to the service center for a week. Flight has been canceled. Sat here for two hours. So we're leaving tonight? 
Mama's got to work tomorrow. Once again, folks, it was awesome meeting you. We had a blast. Flight like canceled. Flight got canceled. We don't know where we're going now. He said all the hotels are booked around. I wish I had the canvas cutter. I say, canvas cutter, man. I, well, if I just if we had our bags, we should go get those. We got sleeping bags. Not awesome right now. Not awesome. Oh, well, you don't like it, it but. <sighs> oh, so. I got kicked off the plane. Went in to go to the bathroom. Checked my pockets. No wallet. So the great people at United are, she's going back on the plane because they already shut the door and everything so I can't get back in. So going to see if my wallet's there. And I'm really, really, really hoping because if it's not, I don't know what we're going to do. I really don't. Not well, good. here's the thing. If you don't have your ID, I don't know how we... I don't know. I, I, really banking on this lady coming back with a wallet i didn't notice you putting it in the in front i had it in my pocket i zip it because i zip it up i don't i don't know anyway no excuses play like a champion <sighs> trying to tonight could not have went worse actually i don't think could it have yeah it's just been a real humdinger this is united by the way this is united oh, oh, right now <laughs> He's gonna kiss you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can honestly. Yeah. Sorry about that. So the, the night's picking up. Yeah. Tonight's hey, really picking up. We gotta win. <laughs> we got a big win. <laughs> You're not stuck in Denver by ourselves. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's past midnight. We finally got out of the airport for one. Now we're waiting for a taxi. So we had to book a hotel room because we can't go get our bags. So we can't sleep in the hotel or in the in the airport. We don't have any anything, so we're losing money by the by the second. <laughs> let's just say that Uber. There's no Ubers because everything's frozen, so nobody's Uber driving right now. So we have to take a taxi to our hotel, which the Uber ride was to have, what 45 bucks. Yeah. So I imagine this taxi ride's going to be. It's just shaping up to be a humdinger of an evening. Bad. So we'll see. Uh, I just want to go get some food and get some sleep, but I don't know if anything's open for food, so we'll see. Probably a lot. I'm a little tired. <laughs> We've got. What time is it? We're still on hold. So this is this is. Here's your music. Wait. Nope. Nope. There's your music you get. We've been on hold for the better part of an hour. It is a uh, one oh one oh four in the morning. Our uh, ride just to get here cost seventy five dollars. We have no choice. We can't. We don't. We don't have any options. So we're pretty much. The whole city's at like gridlock. All the motels are shut down. We finally got into a spot. Day one of the Vortex Turkey Hunt has been a real humdinger. <laughs> Hopefully uh, tomorrow's a new day. Yeah. Well, all we get is a nap because we gotta be up in just a couple hours. Six oh, it's a beautiful room. The best thing that, about this whole day thus far, uh, cops is on. <laughs> yes, cops. Pretty bad. Okay, we are up and at them. It is day two of the great adventure. Finally got a hold of Mark Boardman. Had a good talk with him this morning. Um, we're gonna run back to the airport and just hope on, we, we can hop on any flight that we can. So <laughs> we're in good spirits. We are still in good spirits. Anyway. We're gonna uh, go down, goober it up, and see if we can't get a ride back to the airport. Yeah, we're almost there. Well, within a few hours. Nice. So we are on. We've got tickets right now for the 11.05, but she said even that plane is late as of right now. So we are not really sure what's gonna happen there. So we're just kind of playing it by ear. We're gonna get back in the airport, do all the TSA stuff, do all that. And then see where this takes us see where we head from here so one step closer to uh vortex we don't so. even know where our bags are they're somewhere in the middle of the western atlantic i don't know so, western atlantic that's right that's not down. a thing but we have tickets right now for some flight that may or may not take place Okay, so we just got a big win for the day. We met up with a fellow stranded, <laughs> stranded friend. Hey, Courtney. You make the most of it, right? That's right. That's right. 
And these are really high quality batteries. For $13, you get four double A's. My goodness. Um, <laughs> so we're gonna make uh, apple pie out of rotten apples. Is that the way that works? Uh, Something know. like that. Anyway, we're gonna shoot a podcast here. Right. It's gonna be awesome. Sitting here, there was birds actually in our seats when we when we got here. No lie, there was birds here. It was a little different. Real live birds, so. Just waiting. Oriented, you know, everybody's up there. You've got your trailers, you're hanging out. And I started learning, I mean, when we got back into bow hunting. Well, look out right up here. We may or may not hit our destination. It's uh, about 120, so not too bad. Hopefully see the guys by tonight, this evening. We got about a two, little over two hour flight. It's uh, It's been a journey, been a journey. Deodorant would be good. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Wisconsin. Weston can't run a camera. We are gonna rent a car and go meet up with the guys, hopefully. That's the plan. Can't wait to get off this plane. Just can't wait to get out of an airport, plane, anything to do with aviation. I'm out right now. <laughs> I'm out. Oh, right over there. Boom. Oh. Fire in the hole, it's just like fishing. <laughs> Let's go get a turkey. So we got a uh, rental car up because the guys already left without us, nice people. Um, we are going to meet them at turkey camp. So we are rocking hard in the blue Santa Fe. Looks like a pretty mean ride. Uh, she did tell me, don't get any turkey blood in the car. She said that? She said that to my face. She said, wrap it up, wrap the turkey up. I said, no doubt. hill we've seen thus far and it's eh, probably about 70 yards it's pretty flat it's uh it's beautiful though it's got its own kind of beauty to it it's amazingly green and it's well manicured everything that we've seen is like super well manicured turkey birds right there turkey turkey yeah, we're definitely shooting those but um yeah it's uh everything's kept up really well that's what Wes and I were talking about just now it's, everything's like well kept and all the it's all super green and people have really nice places that it, it looks like they take care of and mow their lawns all the time and it's really cool it, it's awesome I I guess it's maybe what I would expect it to see here I guess I don't know yeah I mean look out there look at these like big ranch houses and pretty stuff so anyway I got a hold of Boardman just a little bit ago we're headed to turkey camp we're calling it Anyway, we'll be there, what, probably 40 minutes? Yeah. Something like that. So, I don't know. I'm excited to meet the guys. I'm excited to see some more terrain. There's some more hilly stuff. I guess we're kind of getting outside the city limits a little bit more, so maybe it'll look a little bit more mountainous. I don't know if even mountainous is a word here, but it's pretty cool. It's got its own real, real beauty to it, I will say that. Weston, we're going down the whatever. This isn't a freeway, highway, whatever. We're in Wisconsin. He's like, giant bull elk. I'm like, no way. Proceed yeah. To the it says deer farm on the sign. We just turned around. We uh, flipped to 180. We're going to show you. It's, we, we just saw our first elk in Wisconsin. This is pretty exciting. <laughs> this should be exciting for everybody. Look at that. That's a bull elk. Pretty scraggly looking. That's a bull elk, ladies and gentlemen. We are, what are we, seven minutes, five minutes out? Something like yeah. that? Yeah, we're getting close. Um, kind of gotten a little bit more wooded section, I would say. There's there's these hills and trees. We got, I don't know, coming from a timber cutting background. I don't think they're <laughs> cottonwood. I don't know what kind of trees they are. They're different than I've ever yeah. seen. Tonight we're going over turkey strategy, which I'm super excited about, just to learn something new. We don't, I mean, we have tons of turkeys where we're from, but we don't hunt them. We just, they're just turkeys. So it'll be kind of cool to kind of do something a little bit new, maybe. And and I won't say outside of my comfort zone, cause it's like, it's not a real, real hands-on thing, I don't think, but, but we're gonna have fun. I guarantee you that, if nothing else, meet some new people. Can't wait to meet the hunting public guys. Uh, Sam Sohol, I don't think I've ever met him either. Cannot wait to meet these guys and 
and be in a turkey camp. Never and then hopefully one of these days, if we make good enough friends with some of these people, if they actually want to spend some more time around us, which there's a good chance probably won't happen, but if they like us enough, they'll come out and go elk hunting with us and we can maybe share some of our, uh, our stuff with them. So it's pretty cool, this whole thing. And I cannot wait to, to actually delve into this. We've seen a few flocks of turkeys along the way. Uh, a lot of green grass, a lot of fields and stuff like that. So it's beautiful country. I will say that. I did not expect. I, I did not expect to like be so. I would say a little bit awestruck and by the beauty of the country. It's really pretty. Super. I don't Made know. it. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? I'm Wesley. I'm Ryan. How Ryan, are you nice to meet you. What's going on, man? Hey, I'm Sam. Not, Sam? Yeah. How you doing, buddy? Good. I'm not one of, I'm uh, the owner yeah. here. Yeah. So Perfect. You're the guy that we need to you talk to. You're the guy that we need to talk yeah. to then. That's right. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you, too. Yeah. Good to see you, too. Yeah. Kind of a nightmare trip. <laughs> uh, was, oh, it, yeah. dude. Long as we got here 24 all, hours later than we were supposed to. Real deal stuff. Yeah. You guys don't. The awkward moment of meeting everybody. Marky you Mark, it. you made it. Good to see you, man. Dude, what's going on, man? What's going on, bro? Good to see you. How you doing? Hey, glad you guys made it. Yeah, absolutely. I'm glad we actually made it. Yeah. How you doing, man? I'm Aaron. Yes, nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Aaron. Aaron, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Give me a hug. Love you. It's 36 hours from Portland to Madison. No big deal. Normally it takes that, right? Yeah. Doing good. Yeah. Been here so I was worried that I was going to have to bump some first light to you guys because they weren't going to have my bag. How you doing? Zach. Zach, nice to meet you. Yeah, got it. I'm Sawyer. Sawyer, nice, nice to meet you. Man. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, nice to meet nice you. To me, yeah. We got everybody yeah. here. Got the Ted? We're going to get some turkey birds? Nice to meet you, Jake, nice to meet you. Wes. Hey, give him a gun and let it work. Do you guys do any other tactic up there, Jake? No. <laughs> we try and they just go the other way. Well, you, he's in range there, ain't he? Oh, yeah. It's like five, five yards. <laughs> Most of the public spots that are a decent size around here will hold a turkey. Yeah, and no, we yeah. overthink stuff like real bad sometimes. <laughs> so, like when he says every place has turkeys, most of them do have they, turkeys. Uh, like I'm most did. The one thing, if you point at the map and you hit a tree, there's a turkey there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you download on X, you know, for a bunch of the area surrounding this, there's gonna be little pieces of public. There'll be like a couple hundred acres sliver right here, or like 40 here, and maybe one like uh, over there at the river. Yeah. There's several thousand down through there, but even those little chunks got birds. Oh, nice. Realistically, the best way to collaborate also is to have as many as many THP hush and born and raised yeah. in one yeah. group. Yeah. 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 That's what I agree, I agree with that yeah. too. It's like if we can have some stuff. If we could have, we're not gonna have different walk. groups per group, yeah. and that, to me that makes a lot right. of sense. True. Yeah, yeah. Spreading yeah. it. Every video that you watch, it's like, hey, this guy's from whatever group. Mm. Yeah. You know? It's easier to yeah, share with Ted way. all the time. What do I want to hunt with Ted for? Yeah, I don't want to hunt with you. Let's do that then. Figure out the best way to divide <coughs> everybody up in five teams, and then go and hunt. Do whatever you know that requires. And then come back and figure out the best way and take it to the plug. Take it to the plug. Yeah. Back in class here. Uh, appreciate you calling me. Yeah. But, uh, Dude, I'm about to move that madness. So, exactly these work? guys don't really get down with like swing shift. Yeah. So, like, how does this whole gizmo work as far as like, what are we doing? Turkeys? Yeah. The, yeah. No, yeah. The turkey, <laughs> yeah the, no, the turkey bird game, but at the same time, like, what is like, your normal day of the turkey hunting deal. You hunt until everybody's tired. Like if you're too tired, then you just take a break. Too tired. Like is that what you mean? Like <laughs> do you mean like what do you mean? Start? When when do you start? Is that what you're asking? Start in the morning. Yeah, the morning. I, I just don't understand. You just get up really early. You get out to a spot, you listen for birds, and then you just really just go from there. It's kind of a it's kind of a roll wing so it type let me, hunt. Let me break it down beyond what he just said. Yeah. Because he's been turkey hunting for 60 straight days, and so it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. So we're gonna wake up early. We're gonna go listen for birds, or if we know a spot where there's birds, we're gonna go and try to get really tight. Okay. If it works out, you're gonna kill a bird. If it doesn't work out, you spend the rest of the morning or day, basically scouting, scouting and 
place to place to place, Either calling, trying to strike around, driving around. Sam, that was pretty eloquent. Thank you. Hey, you yeah. broke that down nice. Okay, like, Thank you. Good, good, good like looking and well spoken. So, like, let's say, for example, let's okay. say we go out, Total we hear a bird, and we go on in on him. We don't get him. He flies down. He stops gobbling. Then we kind of scout that area. We kind of make a plan for if we don't find anything better the rest of the day, we bail out of there. Maybe we hit a different spot by driving or walking, trying to strike a bird up, whatever it may be. But you're always like, your best bet generally is first thing in the morning. And then you're just kind of scouting and putting pieces together for the next morning All day while, while, while yeah, trying to kill what, a bird. Would, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll do that. We're going to leave around 3 something to be back after dark. And about 10, 30, 11 a.m. is when you pick the ticks off you. Is that about the same? Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm if, you, right. if you want to eat, you better bring food. Dude, okay. Got a tire pull to bring food. Hungry, eat something. Yeah, yeah, but then THP again, doesn't pack any water. Of, there's a lot of windshield no time, yeah. too. Especially yeah. around here windshield when you got... Time. In the truck, and you're going spot, from A spot, to B, drive, and you're like, "Well, drive, boys, let's go to town and get a cup of coffee and a biscuit or something." And then, <laughs> just feel the birds. Hey guys, guess what? Born and raised, made it out of Denver. They're here in Wisconsin. This might be a little strange. Logie Bear here from the Hush Crew, cameraman. But that's what this weekend's about. It's all about collaboration. So what you're gonna see tomorrow is a little bit different. You might see somebody that you haven't seen before. But that's what we're doing out here. It's a team effort. Trent will be hunting, but you're not going to see Trent. You're going to see somebody from either Vortex or the hunting public. Maybe you'll see a little bit of Sam Soho. Who knows? But we're turkey hunting, and we're doing it as a team. We've split up. We've divided into groups, and hopefully we can conquer. Stay tuned. Follow us on Instagram. Subscribe. And get ready. Buckle up. It's going to be a fun adventure. See you guys tomorrow.